It's a beautiful thing. I'm very excited. Surreal almost. Drizzy Drake ranked number three on Forbes' highest paid acts in hip hop, bringing in $75 million in 2019. And he's number five on Forbes' list of the richest rappers in 2019 as well. It's also worth noting that he is the youngest on that list. He found a new way to social distance, the most expensive way he knows how, by having Louis Vuitton designer Virgil Abloh customize his private plane, Air Drake, for a whopping $185 million. He's not just dominating the sky, he has a very impressive real estate portfolio as well. Drake purchased his first Hidden Hills home, Yolo Estate, in California in 2012 for $7.7 million. It's now worth a grand slam of $20 million. His second home in Hidden Hills is a $2.85 million ranch, and no, that's not all. He needed another one, so he bought one more ranch in Hidden Hills for $4.5 million. All three of the homes share a cul-de-sac. Alas, there's no place like home. He built his Toronto mansion, the Drake Manor, for $6.7 million that he put his heart and soul into. He told Architectural Digest, because I was building it in my hometown, I wanted the structure to stand firm for a hundred years. I wanted it to have a monumental scale and feel. It will be one of the things I leave behind. So it had to be timeless and strong. His car collection includes a Mercedes Maybach G650. The guess here is that this rare whip costs around half a million to 1.4 million. Then there's his Bugatti Veyron Sang Noir, 2.5 million that we see and started from the bottom, and a yellow Ferrari LaFerrari Coupe. And that one is around 2.2 million, and that's just a few of them. Let's talk purchases that we can only dream of. He recently splurged on a $390,000 Grand Vividus mattress and a $1,425 pair of Nike Air Max 97 Jesus shoes which are actually filled with holy water from the River Jordan and scented with frankincense. And they retail for around four to $5,000. I mean, he is the sixth god. He was also on the hunt for a first edition Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, which was on the market for around $160,000. I wonder if he ever got that. Can I mention his 20,000 piece Swarovski crystal chandelier or his 4,000 pound black marble bathtub? These items are mere chum change with Champagne Poppy's net worth, which is an estimated 170 million and climbing. It's not just music and touring that has allowed Drake's bank account to overflow. He has an array of streams of income, plus he's still collecting residual checks from his time on Degrassi. But when you do it the smart way like he has, the money never stops coming in. I really feel like I've stumbled upon an untapped gold mine, and instead of young money today, it's, uh, it's all about old money, right? You know what I mean. <laughs> Canary yellow. Remember Drake's line, 25 sitting on 25 mil? That wasn't just a lyric in a song. When Drake was just 23 years old, he set a goal for himself to make $25 million by the time he was 25 years old, and boy, did he achieve that. I'm good, I'm good. This yeah. Hey guys, it's your girl, Azalea Hart, back with another video on Before They Were Famous, but today, we're updating the rich life of Drake and what he's been spending his money on. Be sure to follow our Instagram page at Before They Were Famous, and let us know who you want a video on or an updated video on in the comments below. Feel free to also follow me on Instagram, and there's a link down below. Let's get into it. Aubrey Drake Graham was born on October 24th, 1986 in Toronto, Canada. His father, Dennis Graham, famous now in his own right, is African American who was absent while he was growing up. And his mother, Sandy Graham, is a Canadian. His parents divorced when he was five and he was raised by his mother in Forest Hill. His father, during an interview with Nick Cannon, said that he was not an absentee father and that they, in fact, talked every other day, if not daily. And when questioned about it, Drake told him that that story is what it takes to sell records. Drake responded on Instagram saying, I woke up today so hurt, man. My father will say anything to anyone that's willing to listen to him. It's sad when family gets like this, but what can we really do? That's the people we are stuck with. Every bar I ever spit was the truth, and the truth is hard for some people to accept. Anyway, this is for another video. I was just giving y'all a little update. It's a real thing, you know. Michael has gone into great detail about Drake's come up in his Before They Were Famous video, so take a look at that. It will be linked down below and at the end of this video, as well as the first episode of The Rich Life. 
So check out that too if you want to know more. Beyond music and touring, Drake has been making money. Just from 2018 to 2019, his net worth grew by 50% according to Forbes. While touring, he did make an estimate of $2 million a night. But of course, he has plenty of other ventures allowing him to continue to grow to his full potential, including his various business projects like October's very own, aka OVO, which is a clothing line which made an estimated 50 million in sales in 2019. It's also a record label and a radio program. And then there are his endorsement deals with Air Jordan, Nike, Sprite, a $10 million deal with Warner Brothers, Apple Music, he's the global ambassador for the Toronto Raptors, his whiskey, Virginia Black, that broke records in Canada when it sold over 1,700 bottles on the day of its release, and of course his champagne, Mod Selection Champagne, that won Rob Report's Best of the Best Award two years in a row for 2019 and 2020. He's also got his stake in Toronto's most exclusive establishment, Share Club at the Scotiabank Arena, where members pay $7,000 a year and buy invite only. He opened it in memory of his late grandparents. Drake's Vivo YouTube channel has also clocked in about 6.72 billion views, so that's another easy 12 million at least. He also wears an executive producer hat on the popular Netflix British crime drama show, Top Boy. It's safe to say that the Six God is doing a mighty fine for himself, but now we get to the fun part. Let's take a closer look at what he spent his fortune on. First up, Air Drake, no rental, no timeshare, the Boeing 767, which seats 30 people, initially donned a custom OVO owl and Drake's fave prayer hands logo, but now it's cloud camo, as a commenter described it as, with his owl logo and a globe across the exterior, but inside, oh man, inside. Oh my. Thanks to DJ Academics and other OVO members, us wee peasants can see how the rich really live. It's practically a house in the sky. Multiple bedrooms, a private living room, and a massive cabin area with super comfy looking wraparound couches and leather recliners. If I'm flying anywhere, I want to fly like this. There's wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, wood paneling, and gold fixtures. It's reportedly a collaboration between Drake and Canadian company Cargo Jet. In a statement reported by Yahoo, he said, supporting homegrown businesses has always been a top priority of mine. So when an opportunity came up to get involved with a great Canadian company, I was honored to do so. Let's get into detail on Drake's Toronto mansion that I mentioned a little earlier. If you've seen his Toosie Slide music video, we got the greatest tour to ever exist. Yes, I mentioned that astounding Swarovski crystal chandelier which hangs in the great room that soars 44 feet high. All 20,000 pieces are of hand-cut Swarovski crystal and it's the second installation of its kind in the world. It was designed to replicate the famous sunburst chandeliers that were designed in 1963 for New York's Metropolitan Opera. I also mentioned that 4,000 pound black marble bathtub which was carved from a single block of marble. But there's more. In that same great room, Drake has a bespoke Bosendorfer concert grand piano designed with Japanese artist Takashi Murakami. The handcrafted concert piano retails at an estimated $560,000 in the US, but because it was additionally designed by Takashi Murakami, we can tack on an additional possibly $2 million based off of other pieces of artwork that he sold. Probably even more than that. The entire mansion was designed by Canadian architectural and interior designer Ferris Raffaoli, who also designed Share Club for Drake. The home is described as a marvel of old world craftsmanship, constructed of limestone, bronze, exotic woods, and other notable materials by Architectural Digest. It's over 50,000 square feet with an NBA regulation size indoor basketball court. The home also features a recording studio, a massive adjoining lounge, an awards room, a hall of mounted sports jerseys, an indoor pool, a two-story closet which showcases his impressive Hermes Birkin bag collection that he's saving for that special lady. It was one of those things that, you know, I just started collecting as well for I guess like the woman that I end up with one day. So I have a fairly vast collection of, of Hermes to, to offer somebody at, at some point in life. Hi, can it be me, special lady? Remember that almost $400,000 mattress I told you about? The headboard for that bed has a built-in whiskey and champagne bar. I mean, what? This year, the boy also dropped a million on a customized 100 karat necklace designed by Gemma Fine Jewelry. 
The piece took seven months to create because it's apparently a difficult process to cut diamonds into heart shapes. He also grabbed a 22 karat matching heart shaped diamond ring. He and Future also got matching gold and silver pendants made up of half a kilo of gold and 40 karat diamonds from Jason of Beverly Hills. Each piece is worth around $200,000 and features an owl and an eagle side by side. Of course, Drake's OVO owl and Future's Free Band's eagle. Drake also recently revealed two new diamond chains honoring the late Tupac Shakur made by Jason of Beverly Hills. Kind of like a Jesus piece, but Tupac. A blue bandana version with white gold and diamonds and a red bandana version with natural yellow diamonds and yellow gold. Each pendant has a 70 karat diamond chain to go with the half kilo of gold in both the pendants. Their estimated price is around 300,000 per chain. Now you can never have enough bling though, right? So Drake called upon Jason of Beverly Hills again this year for a new set valued at five hundred thousand dollars a cupid wearing a ski mask which has more than half a kilo of gold with 75 carats of diamonds and a thick rope chain with gold and black links and a diamond encrusted necklace drake has also been spotted driving just about every luxury car there is Seen here is his Rolls Royce Wraith with backwards opening doors which have cost him a cool $330,000. He's also got a Maybach 62S, Londole valued at $700,000, a Lamborghini Aventador $400,000, a McLaren 675T at $350,000, a Ferrari F12 Berlinita for $320K, and a Bugatti Veyron $2.5 million. I mean, if I had his income, I'd own all these cars too, even if I can't pronounce them but you get the idea. We haven't even talked about clothes yet. I think my entire outfit costs about $100. <laughs> Watch this clip of Drizzy tallying up his million dollar outfit. I can't. The two braces, one for my son and one that uh, a fan gave me. It's priceless, man, you already know. Yes. Drake, if you're watching this, let's do an interview because I need some money tips. Let me know who you want to see next on The Rich Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists like over here, so click on that if you want to see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the Fame Gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications, and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!